Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm looking at Octoprint and a new application called Printwatch. If you've ever had a failed print and it's created a lot of spaghetti all over your build print, uh, build plate, uh, like I've got a, a bit here, uh, you'll know it's a, a bit of a pain, especially if you're not actually at home or where, wherever your printer is. Uh, so Printwatch is designed to monitor your print via webcam and if it detects that uh, your print is failing it will stop the printer. So as you can see here I have been uh, having a bit of a play. Lots of uh, failed prints. I've created a, a print deliberately that I knew would fail and been trying out the detection. So in a moment we're going to have a look at the print watch application on Octoprint and how to set it up and then I'll go through my testing results. Uh, I've been using a Prusa Mini uh, no enclosure and a Prusa Mark III in an enclosure. Uh, as far as the webcams go I've been using a uh, Logitech C270 which is a, a very popular webcam. I've also tried a Wisecam version 2 which has been flashed to web webcam software. Uh, as far as the Pis go, uh, a couple of uh, Pi 3B pluses. So, without further ado, let's have a look at uh, Octoprint and the Printwatch app. Okay, so here's my Octoprint, and all you need to just do is go into uh, your plugin manager in settings. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Just click on Get More, Find Print Watch, and uh, install it. As simple as that. So, Print Watch. Uh, you do have to go onto the site and subscribe. They, they've got a, uh, I believe, a one-month um, free trial. So you'll need to sign up to that to get an API key. Obviously, mine's blurred out. Um, I've left most things default. Uh, turn the enable detection on if you want Printwatch to be working. Uh, if you want it to send you an email, uh, in which case pop your email address in. Uh, the main controls are here. Pause print on detection. So you, ideally, you want, as soon as it finds a fault, you want the printer to actually pause. Now. If it pauses, the hot end will stay on and the bed will stay on. Um, so it's not going to cool down or anything, it will just pause the print. Uh, if you want to power off the extruder, you need to tick this one. So the power off extruder heater on detection doesn't work on its own. You have to have the pause print uh, activated and then tick the power off extruder if you want the extruder to go off. If you have the pause print unticked, uh, Printwatch will not do anything when it detects uh, any failures. So it's important to have the pause print actually on and alternatively if you want to turn the extruder off tick this box. Detection threshold. The lower the detection threshold the more likely it is to find defects or possibly even items that aren't defects. The default is 60. I've got mine set around about 50. Um, and that's it. That, that's the settings. Um, let's just close that window. Uh, when Printwatch is active, there's a green eye in the top uh, of the screen. Uh, that will be flashing green. And you have, uh, not that it's probably going to show anything now, um, you have a Printwatch tab there. And after five minutes of the print starting, it will show you snapshots. It basically takes snapshots of the print process, analyzes them, and where it detects an anomaly that it thinks uh, is a part of a fell print, it will highlight those in a red rectangle. And I'll show you those in a second. Um, so it won't stop the print on the first or second one that it finds. It, it analyzes them for quite a while. Um, in my opinion, it takes too long actually 
to do that it's it's detecting lots and lots of anomalies certainly in my failed prints it identified lots of issues but it did take a long time to stop um, a test print that I've just done ran for somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes uh, it was detecting uh, anomalies probably within five or six minutes when when the print failed to, to um, print correctly and so we're getting rid of spaghetti so I would like to perhaps have the option uh, if a user could control the number of uh, anomalies before it actually stopped the print that would be ideal um, anyway uh, as I say you need to sign in for a free trial um, I believe as far as cost goes uh, if you're just doing it month by month it's around about nine dollars for the first printer and then four dollars thereafter for the second printer uh, but if you do a uh, annual subscription it's around 625 for the first printer and 283 for the second or more printers so if you do the annual version it's uh, a lot cheaper I'm not doing a plug on that I'm just giving the information which is readily available on their site I was able to uh, replicate fairly well the um, the actual pausing of the print I had it set to pause um, however using the Prusa Mini with the webcam sat here uh, I did have some issues I will say Partly, I guess, because uh, when, when the bed's going backwards and forwards, it is throwing a lot of the debris off the build plate onto the uh, surrounding areas. But a lot, of, a lot of my prints went 30 to 40 minutes while they were still failing, uh, and they weren't paused. I think perhaps 1 in 10 of my tests actually port resulted in pausing. So I was a bit disappointed. Um, I will say in its favour, Printwatch was actually detecting the errors. It just wasn't pausing the printer. So perhaps they just need to change their algorithm so it doesn't take so long to keep on trying to identify uh, the failures. So I was really pleased that it was identifying and highlighting all of the uh, debris that was coming off. I, I did have some larger pieces as well that were floating around, but say slightly disappointed that it wasn't stopping the printer much earlier um, so if you're watching uh, Printwatch uh, perhaps you can have a look at that and improve it because most of your work is, is really good so for me the, the Mini didn't work that well um, however with the Prusa Mark III it was a, a different story so Prusa Mark III uh, with a Logitech webcam. I did originally try it with the uh, Wise Cam. That was detecting on, on the Printwatch video. It was actually detecting um, the anomalies, but the print didn't stop. So I tried the Logitech. Again, that identified them, seemed to do a better job. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, the print stopped. Again, I think that's far too long, really. It should have done it a lot quicker. Uh, I'm, I'm glad it did stop, but uh, there was quite a large pile of um, string material. We've got some there. But overall, it did actually pause the print and I could check it. So when it when it pauses, the bed stays warm, but you can have the, uh, the nozzle shut down. You, you can see even more because the extruder was running through all of this. So what's my conclusion about Printwatch? Well, I think they're going in the right direction. It's proven to me that the application does detect uh, anomalies. Uh, so the only thing I found was that it, it wasn't pausing the printer quickly enough. And I'm sure that can be addressed very quickly. Uh, if, if it can stop prints a, a lot quicker, when it recognises as a uh, a short stream of uh, anomalies then that would be great no problem at all uh, if you're thinking of getting print watch as, as I mentioned earlier there's a one-month free trial so I'd recommend trying it out 
and actually seeing if it fits your requirements. Uh, as I said, uh, on the website they explain uh, that the, the best setup and angles for your webcam. And the only alternative is the spaghetti detective, which also is uh, a chargeable uh, app if you've got um, more than one printer or if you print, I think, more than 10 hours. It's free until you get to that point. If you are a heavy printer, then Printwatch actually comes out on top uh, for their fixed pram pricing. Whereas Spaghetti Detective, I believe, uh, is based on hours. So the more hours you use, the more uh, extra subscriptions you have to buy. So Printwatch does well on that. Um, again, I'm not plugging Printwatch, I'm just explaining uh, all the available information. So will I go for it? Well, I need to improve my webcams. I'm going to uh, remove my wise cams and get, get a couple of nice HD autofocus uh, webcams. I'm not going to spend the earth. Uh, they will be, be cheap ones, um, but they'll, they'll be HD and autofocus, so that, that should help. The Logitech that I've used uh, in, the, in this testing and the Wisecam are both uh, fixed focus, um, so I don't think that, that particularly helps. Uh, and also if they can uh, be near focus as well, so close focusing ability. So I will be having um, Printwatch on, on those once I get set up. And just to be clear, I was provided with uh, Printwatch to evaluate and test. As you can see, I'm, I'm not, obviously I'm not being paid f uh, for this, uh, certainly with the comments I've made, but I think uh, overall uh, Printwatch is going definitely in the right direction. This is overall a positive review. Uh, and if they can just get the um, the prints to pause a bit quicker, that it would be a, a really great app. And uh, I think it's a, a welcome alternative uh, and competition for the Spaghetti Detective and the great addition to what to print. Right, that's my longer than expected review over. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please pop them into the comments. Uh, if you like this video and would like to see more videos, please do a like and a subscribe. That would be really welcome. And uh, I will be doing more videos on 3D printing very shortly. Thank you very much.